Damon. What up everyone, it's Joe. And, and it's, it's Damon, Damon and Joe. Joe. We've been doing the series 20 versus 20. Today we're doing 20 euros in Paris versus 20 euros in Rome. Whatever we can afford for 20 euros and let's see who does it best. Let's go. Got my music so I have to listen to all y'all. Oh, let's go. There's no way to really close this door by, by slamming it. Pardon. Didn't I do this in the other Paris video? This is a different Airbnb, too. Look at these doors. These keys. What a perfect day! So you know how Paris is one of the most expensive cities in the world? Rome is like very cheap. Sorry Damon. So I'm not stressing about today because I know that Rome is cheap. Is that sort of my camera? Bonjour, uh, vous avez une courrier du petit déj? They used to have a deal here at the American corner where it was three euros and fifty cents for a uh, a coffee, an orange juice, and a pen au chocolat. And now it's a lot more expensive for less food. Four euros for this. All right, everybody, we got Joe on the phone. Joe, what's up? In Rome, do cappuccinos come with like a lump of chocolate on top? I can't hear you. I chose a really good spot for breakfast this morning. <laughs> San Giovanni. Local Romans may say that it's not the most Roman area, but I love it because you can get a one euro and ninety cent breakfast. Ciao, buongiorno. Sono questo cornetto è un caffè macchiato. Okay. Al banco. Oh my God, it's so cheap, so good. Cornettos are sweet, croissants are salty. Don't get it twisted, don't make that mistake. I've tried for so long to act like the 20 cent books outside of Gibergen are actually interesting. They're not, but we're gonna go try to find one anyway. So in an attempt to counterbalance my morning, I bought this actually, some poesy. Wow, poesy. I bought a French poesy book, poems. Okay, so the next place we're going is called Via Sanio Flea Market, but it closes at 2, so if you show up at like 1.30, all the good stuff's already gone. I've never bought one thing. Let's see if I can find something today. The first thing you see are military jackets. If you see military jackets and an Italian flag, you're not going to enlist in the army. You're walking into the Via Sanio Flea Market. I wouldn't suggest getting your intimates here, but hey, I ain't judging you. One time I bought a mattress off Craigslist. Tutte le scarpe sono cinque. Damn, I might need some new palms for five euros. And everything on the side is one euro, baby. Look how cool these pants are. I don't know what this is, but I like how it's one euro. Y'all trying to get me ready for Christmas early just because it's one euro. You could spend a hundred euros on a sweater like this or one. You choose. Are you kidding? What the? What the? No. Sold. Okay, compro questo. Grazie. Hold up, y'all got five dollar jeans though? Well, it looks like just another pharmacy on another French street is actually one of the cheapest. It's called City Pharma. Let's go get our French skincare. Is there a serum for the La Roche Posée? Look, I told y'all City Pharma was cheap. 
I didn't say it was gonna be calm. Okay, seriously though, that store, you can find all of the famous French skincare brands like La Roche-Posay, Aven. You can find them for a discounted price in that pharmacy and only that pharmacy. Hi! <laughs> okay, good, let me come over there. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm Brazilian. Ah, que bem. Eu falo português. Mentira, você se conhece? No. Ela tá na Roma nesse momento. A gente tá indo pra lá, querida. Essa noite tá. Did he just spend six euros on thermal water? but only four euros on his breakfast that he barely ate. Yes, okay. Okay, so I decided to start using this a week and a half ago because I watched a YouTube video that said tap water around the world has a lot of limestone in it and that's sometimes what causes acne problems. Six euros, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. See, maybe this is why I like Paris the most. It doesn't cost much money to feel rich. I don't need to walk down this this little tiny street, but I like to because I feel like I'm in the middle of the street. Excuse me, oh my god. <laughs> Movie set or real life? But it is like the Times Square, so beware pickpocketers and you know fidget spinner sales. <laughs> Europe, man, you never fail to impress me. It's true, it's true, it's true. Y'all got me, y'all got me, y'all got me. Je prends le sandwich végétarien, sans concombre. Vous en voulez Oui, je veux bien merci. So this next place we're going is called Pastificio Guerra and Pastificio is basically just a place that makes homemade pasta. This place makes homemade pasta and sells every plate for 4 euros. You can even get a glass of wine for 1 extra euro. They only have two kinds of pasta every day because it's so homemade. They sell it until it runs out. So get there quick, it opens at 1 p.m. Ciao, buongiorno. Come è pronto? Better believe I'm in front of the line. Oh my god, just kidding, there's a huge line behind me. <laughs> that moment you think you're first but you're actually last. It's alright, we're still gonna get the pasta. Si, sí, Costa Bianca. Grazie. Four euros and a new friend. Hi, my name is Marco. Nice to meet you. Marco, piacere. So I thought it was only tourists, and then he's a, a real Italian. <laughs> yes, this is an important place in Roma. It's a Piazza di Spagna. No, but Pastificio. Ah, for the Pastificio, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, it's another important place because the eat is important. To eat the is food. important. Quello che non strozza ingrassa. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! Non ci credo che questo costa 4 euro. Qual è il nome di questa chiesa? Sant'Ignazio. That's not a real dome, it's all painted. If you change your point of view. So trippy. Woo! My tour guide Marco is gone, he's now in there, so we keep it going along. I'm gonna walk into the first cafe I see, probably this one, and see how much an espresso costs. No phony shit. This is it. Tour. Hi, this is the tour. Okay, perfect. I found you guys. What new activity for you? If you're ever in a city that you want to do a walking tour, Google it, show up to the meeting point, and go because it's free. So, five seconds later, I meet Dylan, who didn't know he was subscribed to our channel, but he is. So, we're going to talk French, Italian, and English. How do you know what to tip? Actually, I'm going to give 5 euros. 5 euros! It's beautiful, but touristy. camera died the minute we got into the bus. We made it over here to San Giovanni again. I'm gonna show you my favorite pizza spot here. It's nothing fancy. Don't expect much. 
Ciao, buonasera. Sì, voglio un supplico. Che cosa c'è dentro? Ok, ne voglio uno, per favore. Un pezzo di pizza. 3 euro and 30 cents per all This is a supli. It's a little ball of fried love. Cheers! Mmm, all of this was 3 euros and 30 cents. With my remaining 2 euros, I will buy gelato. Because I'm in Italy, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Ciao! Vorrei solo una coppetta di uh, stracciatella e di... Que questo rocciere sì. è buono? Sì, sì. Ok. Grazie. Grazie. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I got no one to talk to anymore. But I still did it. Actually, uh, my grand total was this. Okay, 21 euros, 49 cents, Saba! If I didn't take such good care of the skin, maybe I could have eaten a little bit more. Joe, how'd you do? Oh, that stracciatella though. So the grand total for the day was this. Bam! All I'm saying is that this gelato is worth a million dollars, and I just paid two euros for it. Mmm! Mmm! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend who might be coming to Paris or to Rome. Who won, baby? Who won? Rome did. Because of this gelato. Oh my, there's a crunch? Subscribe to our channel if you like travel in general. I'm done. Okay. Later! This is my money pocket for the day. You see me swiping a credit card. Y'all know this isn't real. Just kidding, I get points for my credit card. It's a travel channel, what do you expect? Oh my yeah. god, there's cheese. Did you get to the cheese? You ate yours? 